Welcome to Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. I'm Kevin, securities dealer from Philip CFD. In this week's Market Watch, we will be looking at how the crude oil futures market is being affected by geopolitical risks contributed by Iran, as well as what to expect in the near future. Let us first look at the origins of the Iran nuclear accord. This was established back in 2015 and was better known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or JCPOA. The accord was arrived at in unison by several world powers including the United States of America, United Kingdom, Germany, Russia, France and China along with commitment from Iran. The JCPOA was meant to make it more difficult and costly to weaponize plutonium and uranium. This would inevitably deter Iran from producing nuclear weapons. In return, previously imposed sanctions would be lifted. Currently, US President Donald Trump feels the need to improve on the existing agreement as he finds that the current accord still leaves room for Iran to threaten US national security. President Trump has openly called for the US to withdraw from the accord and renew sanctions on Iran. With this, the global market is expecting a supply reduction of approximately 500,000 barrels a day from OPEC's third largest oil producer. When we look at WTI crude futures, we consistently see it test and hold above the $70 per barrel mark for most of the trade days over the past 15 days. Volatility has also spiked along with pricing in the past month of April, spilling over to the month of May. In a nutshell, we still see all world powers committing to the accord even with the withdrawal of the US. It is also reasonable to say that other oil producing countries have the spare capacity to make up for the shortfall of 500,000 barrels in the event that Iran faces issue with exporting crude. In the near term, we are expecting some pricing volatility in both WTI and ICE brand futures. So, what can investors do during such times? Investors can, at least in the near term, look towards crude ETFs such as USO or UCO for trading opportunities or consider hedging existing oil and gas positions via CFDs. With this, we have come to the end of this week's Market Watch. Please subscribe to us on Philip Capital YouTube channel and Facebook for more Market Watch videos. Thank you.